Okay, so this is my second game that I wrote in Python using the Pygame Toolkit. And it's the classic tic-tac-toe, which uh, allowed me to expand my skills a little bit. And so why don't I just play the game first and then explain a little bit what I did and just some thoughts about the process of making the game. So, oops, let's run the game. All right, so you're, you, you play the X's, computer plays the O's. And the computer just knows how to block anything, basically. With a little help from XKCD and uh, the Wikipedia article, basically, the computer always chooses the optimal, the optimal move. And no matter how crafty I get or how slick I go, it always knows. And if I get careless, uh, let's say I go here, and it's something like, oh, I'll just try here. Oh, and the computer won. Computer goes up by one, and still at zero. Okay, so there's been four ties. Now, something special happens when you get a fifth tie, and uh, it's kind of fun. A little bit, a little bit something extra for the for the people. Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. A little shout out to War Games. Great movie. And, uh, just thought it was a, it was kind of fun to add that at the end there, especially the. Making the, the text reveal itself was kind of fun. Yeah, so that's basically the game. Uh, basically, the actual game itself, the, the main function, pretty simple. Just ask. The hardest part, maybe the most time consuming typing wise, was the, I guess, the computer AI. And basically, I, it divides itself into steps. So, step one, check to see if there's a winning move for the computer to do. Step, and then if there's not that, step two, check to see if there's a potential win for the player that they have to block. And then, then check if it, a center is empty. And then they have to check if there's a potential fork, so that when the player places a piece there, they'll have two possible win moves, thus making their win assured. So the computer has to know when to block that kind of thing. And I don't know if there's a more elegant solution for that, but basically... There's like something like 15 different possibilities of forks, different combinations on the board. So I just basically told the computer, if any of these particular combinations show up, do this. Now, I don't know if there's a more elegant way of doing that, but that's how I did it. And then they just check if a corner's open, then they do a corner, and finally, if none of those work, they check the side. And yeah, that's uh, also highlighting when the player wins with that little line that you saw. That took me way longer than it probably should have, but all this code is for that, basically, because you basically had to program every combination of a win. So three down, three to the side, three diagonal. Basically, every combination I had to program it. Again, I don't know if there was an easier way of doing that, but that's what I did. And yeah, just the, uh, the ending stuff. More games. And overall, yeah, this has been a pretty fun game to play. One thing it taught me was how functions work. I know this is kind of basic, but the idea that if you have a function within a function, that function within a function, any information it gets from the outside has to be funneled through first through that first function and then to the second function, which never, I never occurred to me before. I guess I thought you could just like make everything global and then send anything to any function, but it's not really a good practice. So that's that's one one big lesson I learned from this actual this this programming project. And yeah, that's my that's my game, Tic Tac Toe. Thanks for watching.